Uh, Jonathan Wainscott. Hey, my name is Jonathan Wainscott. I just want to, uh, you to consider this. In Gatlinburg, you know, home of Dollywood, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and all that kind of stuff, the sort of Myrtle Beach of the mountains, do you know what those people do with their garbage and their They don't have a recycling program. They just throw it all away. They just throw it all away. Can you imagine that? I can. It sounds awesome. And the reason that they do this is because they have a world-class landfill that separates out all of that stuff and generates a profit for them. Okay, and so here what we do is we charge everybody $4, it used to be $4 per pickup on the garbage, now it's gone up to $4.25, and we don't charge anything for recycling. So from a consumer standpoint, it makes more sense for me to put more stuff into the green bucket rather than the blue bucket, because that's the one I'm paying for. It doesn't, I'm not gaining anything financially by using the recycling systems, in fact, I you know, sacrifice space in my kitchen with this little pile of coffee cans and this little pile of plastic stuff and this pile of paper stuff. And then I sacrifice more space in my driveway with the blue bin, but not anymore because I just got rid of the blue bin and I throw it all away. And when I do that, I feel this pang of, ooh, ow, I'm hurting mother earth and everything. But I tell myself, I'm not doing anything wrong. Your system is wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. So I'm paying to have the garbage taken away it's going in the green bucket. That's the way I'm doing it. There are better ways to do that. We're getting upstaged by Gatlinburg because we have a world-class museum and they have a world-class landfill and we talk about saving the planet. It's silly, the things that we do here. I would rather have a garbage truck that can weigh garbage and that's what it does rather than focus on it being run on a battery because that would be cool, man. Take a step back from these sacred cows and look at how effective they actually are. You're not doing anything wrong by throwing your garbage away. Put a piece of plastic in the coffee can and then step on it so you can't use it anymore and it looks like garbage and it makes it easier to throw away. I do this all the time. I'm not doing anything wrong. Your system is wrong. And so I'm gonna pay for it in the way that makes since most to me, I'm just going to throw all the stuff in the bucket that I pay to have emptied and not worry about the other bucket that you're not charging anybody to use. If saving the planet is that important to you, pay for it yourself. And then ask yourself whether or not that's an effective system that you're paying for. All right, thank you. I am kind of curious about this. I, did, I looked it up. <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll have to have. We should have a whole presentation because we would have to talk to uh, the county about this. Right, it's and facility, I'm just curious. I didn't know that well, was a thing. our data shows that that's perverse behavior, and that's not how like people actually responded based on those price signals. I just didn't know they were landfills that sorted like that. And then there are some communities that collect and charge for waste and credit for recycling. Mm -hmm. 